what's good with you people who's right of work back with you once again hope everybody taking care of yourself staying safe out there and basically living our lives and if you like some of my content please hit that like and subscribe button so you can get no question why i do a live show or go live um other than that um thank you for all the support i've been getting so far and i really appreciate y'all all right now people want to blame Kyrie Irving is for the reason that Kevin Durant want to be traded from the Brooklyn Nets. Well, the way I look at it, it can go both ways. You can blame Kyrie Irving. You can blame Kevin Durant. You can blame um, Brooklyn management. Brooklyn management is the one who refused to pay Kyrie Irving the match because they felt like he's not going to be there if they even if they give him this money and he he has not done everything in their in their power in their mind that he could do to win that win them championship so they trying to blame Kyrie Irving for the whole situation where if it wasn't for Kyrie Irving Kevin Durant probably wouldn't be there in the first place because Kevin Durant came there to play with his boys he came there to play with the Brooklyn Nets because of Kyrie Irving. And he told y'all, if Kyrie leaves, you better trade me. And he, he's standing on his word about that. Now, Brooklyn's all mad. Brooklyn fans want to blame Kyrie Irving for the whole situation. Fans want to blame Kyrie Irving because they mad that the fact that he's leaving to go probably play with LeBron James once again he may take Kevin Durant with him. They, and people are mad about that. They can't stand that from happening. What did you really expect? He t Kevin Durant told, I think Kevin Durant told the world in that's up front. I'll pay Kyrie Irving or trade me. I'm going to go with Kyrie Irving. Now, world in that talking about they want two stars to play to, to, um, in a trade. For Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, that's probably going to end up being Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook. Now, is it, I don't know when this is going to be going down. I don't know if it's going to be going down next 72 hours or by the end by the end of the week. But it's happening. We can't do nothing about it. The league can't do nothing about it because everybody keep on saying, well, the league may veto the trade like because it's it, it too much. You understand what type of ratings that's going to do having KD, LeBron, and Kyrie Irving all playing together in Los Angeles with the Los Angeles Lakers. You understand what type of um, money that's going to bring in not only to the NBA, but two two TV networks, it's gonna be a big blockbuster deal. This is gonna be the most craziest thing ever in the history of the league. Then you you don't understand what it's gonna be like when you have Golden State playing against the Lakers, playing against probably two two of the biggest franchises in the history of of the NBA hit NBA history, like. Don't be, like the Brooklyn Nets stars gonna be okay without KD and Kyrie Irving. Cause you if you getting back Anthony Davis and um, Westbrook and playing along with Ben Simmons, Brooklyn may still have a chance to attend for a title. So people getting mad at Kyrie Irving need to stop. This is not Kyrie Irving's fault. He only doing he only doing what he feels right for him. He's only doing that he feels that he had to do. So, and plus, Kyrie Irving may sign in the getting a bow from the Brooklyn Nets. He may sign for less money to play for the Lakers, cause Kyrie Irving still gonna be making his money, cause he gonna probably get more endorphin deals, and LeBron James gonna probably end up helping him getting more endorphin deals too. So everybody wanna blame Kyrie Irving for this whole situation. Need to stop it. Stop it. Let Kyrie Irving be. Like, he's on a spiritual journey right now, and y'all hate him for that. It, it don't make, like, y'all hate Kyrie Irving for being on a spiritual journey. 
Y'all hate Kyrie Irving for doing what he feels necessary to have, have to do. And Stephen A. Smith, you need, man, you are starting to show your true colors. You are starting to show what type of person you really are. Because if L.A. ends up being the best in the West, what you going to do, come on TV and just keep on, keep on getting on Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant? Because you love LeBron James. You got no problem with LeBron James. So don't be out there slipping around, cheering for Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant now. Cause you, cause you've been, you haven't been liking no two cats for the longest. You've been saying how you really feel about Kevin, KD, and Ka- Kyrie Irving. So don't be flipping it around now. So let me know what y'all think in the video, in in, in the um, video description. Y'all think it's a great move for um, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving to play for the Lakers, or is it, or is it a bad move and you just don't like it? Other than that, hit that like and subscribe button, and thank you for all the support I've been getting so far from y'all, and I hope that y'all later. Peace.